What's up, Hoopers? It's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball. And shout out to all them young kids out there trying to get their game right. And today's all about you. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to shoot the ball perfectly for you youngins out there. So pay close attention and let's get started. That's why I just gotta know how we ain't been different. Why I feel the same Ain't time we kick it. We just can't get rid it. Ain't no fixing. Here we go again with, with another thought that's cold and vain. Avoid the pain even though we need to say goodbye. I feel the same. So cold and vain at this hurting. All right, guys. Well, like I said, this is for the kids out there, the young players that are trying to work on their shot. I want to give you a couple of tips, a couple of things to think about, and then I'll give you a couple of drills that you can do to actually work on your form shooting, to work on your touch close around the basket, so you're working your muscle memory to get more used to shooting the basketball. All right, so here's a couple of things to think about. Number one, when you're shooting the ball, you want to make sure that your release is always on point. So your placement of your hand for your shot and your guide hand is really important. So as you can see, when I shoot the basketball, I want to have a little daylight right between here, between the ball and my palm. So there's daylight, not like this, right? I don't want to be shooting like I'm a statue and flicking it up there. But I don't want to have that ball on my palm, right? Because when I shoot it, it just rolls off. Now the rotation may look good on that, but you have limited control under the ball when shooting that ball off of your palm. So we want to eliminate that. We want to get that out of there. All right, we want to have, so if I'm shooting the basketball, you see that, you can see a little daylight right there between the ball and the palm of my hand, right? I can get my finger in there and I'm good to go. So that's very important when you're shooting the basketball. You want to keep that ball off your palm and you want that ball to come off your fingertips. So when you shoot it, boom, that's the last part of your hand that it's touching, okay? You'll get really good control under it. You'll be able to become more of a consistent shooter. And once you get used to that and comfortable with it, you'll be just fine. All right, another thing with your guide hand. All right, so now if you look another way, look at where my guide hand is here. You don't want it all the way in the front, right? Because now you're gonna be pushing against yourself. It's almost like you're blocking your own shot. You don't want it here, right? Because now you're shooting that, that ball and it's really coming off your, th your thumbs because you're gonna have to push that ball out, right? So you don't want them too close. You want that ball on the side because the guide hand is meant to do what it said, to guide the basketball. Because ultimately, when you shoot the basketball at the end of your shot, you're gonna end up like this, where it's almost, it's basically a one-handed jumper, right? You're not gonna be pushing the ball with both hands. You're definitely having no control under it if you're doing that, right? But if you look at the end of a jump shot, with any good shooter, the, if you get a snapshot of the release before that ball lets go, the guide hand has left the ball because it's guided its way up. Now when that release happens, it's coming off and only off that one hand. All right, so that's why it's important to have that ball placed in the right position on your hand when firing the ball off for your release, okay? So that's the first thing I really want you to think about before you even shoot a basketball. Put that ball where it needs to be, get your guide hand right, just sit back, lay down on your bed, lay down on the floor, stand up and just shoot that ball over and over so you're getting comfortable on where that ball should be, all right? So I just wanted to point that out. Now we'll talk about a couple other things that will help with your jumper and then we'll get into the drill. It's hurt and been open-ended, but it's been hoping we ain't have to say it's over-ended, but the wound is open, let it be. All right, the last couple things to think about when shooting the basketball is your feet, your legs, and your shoulders, okay? Now here's why they're each important. Now when you shoot the basketball, it's totally fine if you want your feet totally squared to the basket, right? I see a lot of shooters that do that, a lot of great shooters that are perfectly squared to the basket. Me, when I shoot the basketball, I have a slight tilt in my feet, right? So if you look, boom, I'm here, I go into my shot, it's a slight tilt. They're angled almost this way because what I feel as a shooter, because when you shoot the basketball, you want to be as comfortable as you can. For me, when I have my feet dead pointed at that, that hoop, I feel a little tense up in my shoulders where I'm like, I want to be so perfect, you know, picture perfect, but I know I don't have the most picture perfect shot, but it's comfortable for me, it works for me. So that's why I have that tilt in the feet when I shoot the basketball. So if you feel like you need the tilt or you're more comfortable with the tilt, that's great. If you like being totally squared up to the basket, that's fine as well. So you have to make sure your feet are on point, whether you're coming off of a screen, dribbling into your shot, catch and shoot. You want to make sure your feet are set. Another thing, your legs, right? They're important too because this is where your power comes from, right? You see a lot of great shooters in the history. Ray Allen, if you've watched Ray Allen shoot the ball, he's got such great lift on his shot because he's using his legs, he's getting good lift. When I say lift, he's jumping really high on his shot. Now I'm not saying jump as high as you can when shoot it, but jump enough that gives you enough power and momentum into your shot. 
and Ray Allen did that every time he shot the basketball. So get your legs underneath you, especially as you move out further, because if you just start shooting out here like that, you're gonna be shooting air balls, you're gonna be shooting short each and every time you shoot the basketball, and that's not what we want. All right, we wanna get our legs underneath us, develop that habit early, so as you get older and older and you continue to play the game of basketball, your shot comes so fluid and naturally. All right, so we wanna to continue to focus on that. And the third thing, shoulders. Now your shoulders need to be squared to the basket. That's important. We talked about our feet, they could be aligned or they could be on a slight tilt, but your shoulders, we want our shoulders towards the basket. We wanna be here because if you have your shoulders over here and the ball is being shot this way, how accurate, how accurate is that gonna look? All right, so make sure those three things are on point and working together. And of course, we already talked about the, re the release. That's the last time you're gonna to touch the ball. So you have to make that as perfect as possible. All right, so you got your feet, you got your legs, you got your shoulders, right? They're all working together to make that release as pretty as possible. But think about this, the most important thing is to be comfortable as a shooter. Shoot the basketball the way you feel is most comfortable for you and that gives you the best chance to be successful. All right, so those are the tips I wanted to give you. Now I'm gonna give you just a couple of drills to work on some basic form shooting to get your muscle memory going, to help you with your shot. Right, we're gonna do everything really close to the basket, so we're just warming up, getting our shot going, because as a kid and as you continue to grow older, even younger and older players, and once you get to high school and college and pros, you're still doing the basics because you know that's what got you to that point. So you wanna continue to work on those things, and that's why we're gonna start with the most basic stuff to help you get started. So let's have a look at those couple of drills right now. All right, to start basic, we're gonna just work with our one hand. We're gonna go one hand form shooting. All right, so whatever your weak hand is, your guide hand, put it behind your back. And all we're going to do, okay, is we're gonna square ourselves up to the basket or have that slight tilt, whatever you want. And you're gonna do it from five spots. You're gonna do it from the corner, the wing, the middle, the wing, and the corner. But look how close I am. I want you this close when practicing it. You're gonna start the ball underhand, right? And you should have it the way you're gonna shoot it because you're gonna start here, you're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna rotate that ball over, and you're gonna shoot it, okay? Get your rebound reset, get your hand right, how you need to have it. You're gonna bend down, get your legs involved, boom, turn it over on the way up, and release, okay? Over and over, 10 makes at each spot. All right, so this is one hand form shooting just to help you out and get you started. Here it is right now in full speed. But I just gotta know, how come when we chillin' everything it feel the same, feel the same. I just gotta know, how come when I pull up on my kill we go again, go again. That's why I just gotta know, can you tell me what the deal? I'ma go ahead and tell you how I feel. I just gotta know, can we keep it real? Lately I'm losing, I've been losing. All right, in this next drill, we're gonna be working on the same thing, but now you're gonna add your guide hand in it, and we're gonna move back just a little further, but now we're gonna jump, right? So we're here, now we're gonna incorporate our legs, got our guide hand and our release, it's the same thing, right? We wanna be here, boom, and jump. Get our legs underneath this, start working on that habit of getting our legs underneath to get some good lift on our shot. Again, same five spots, 10 makes from each spot, all right, let me show you what this looks like now in full speed. Losing myself, can you tell me what the deal? I'ma go ahead and tell you how I feel. I just gotta know, can we keep it real? Lately I'm losing, I've been losing myself. When did we change? When did all the love that we had go away? Yeah. When did we change? When did all the love that we had go away? All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the couple of tips that I helped you with for shooting the basketball and also the drills as well. Take them seriously, actually work on them because this is the foundation for your shooting ability. All right, so if you liked it, give it a great, nice, big thumbs up and also click that comment button and let us know what you think of the video and anything else you have in mind that you want us to shoot for you. All right, but most importantly, click that subscribe button, join Thing Pro Basketball, check out all the great content that we have on our channel, so make sure you head over and check it all out because we release brand new content every single week designed to help you improve on your game. All right, so now it's your turn to get out there, hit the gym, hit the court, think about all the things we've talked about in this video to apply it to your shooting and then work on the simple drills that we've gone over today. And remember to always keep hooping. I'll see you soon.